Hello there, welcome to the Japanese Grand Prix. Now, as you can see, we're starting in 17th and 18th. The reason this is very simple. Both the Duhan and Piastri has had a, well, just a couple of accidents really throughout the season, which has led to both the power unit and uh, the RS, which we're going to have to change anyways because of Red Bull. Uh, degrading a little bit more than expected. So we're taking a new engine for both our drivers. We're taking a new ERS for, ERS for both our drivers. And as such, we're taking all our penalties here. Might not be the best track to take penalties on, but uh, I think we'll be able to make it work. As you can see, we'll be going for uh, two-stopper, medium, medium, soft. And uh, I have faith that we can make this work. So with that, let's just get straight to it. We had a good qualifying. High confidence on both our drivers. So uh, it should be it's possible. Japanese Grand Prix. Ferrari here on the pole. Away we go. And behind us we have Science and Show, so uh, that is a bit of an interesting one. Uh, I think we're just going to retain this on neutral, since we do need to uh, do some overtakes here. Piastri is already messing around with the house, so uh, let's see just how quickly they can work their way up the uh, the field here. DRS is enabled. DRS has been enabled. Will that help us or will that hamper us? It's a big question. We have multiple cars crashed. That's a Red Bull. So Paris and Bottas. Let's take a look at the replay. Now just take a look at the McLaren. Well, luckily it wasn't too hard of a hit, and I think both drivers will be able to continue, but of course, a loss of position is always uh, a kick in the gut. Piastri and Duhan, 12-13 now. And, a new and again, we could probably do Williams. a bit quicker if I manage ERS here, but I think it's fine. We are still locked in a DRS train though, so uh, let's just see. If they can't overtake in a couple of laps, we'll deal with it. 11 and 12th now. And I don't think that was due to an overtake. I think that was due to a mistake. Johan has spun out. So he will be uh, pretty far back. Actually didn't lose that much, all things considered. So we should be good. Yes, we're up in 10th. Let's have a look. Now we see the Williams here. That was a graphical glitch and a half. Tires are severely overheating. Um, we're going to go aggressive on them for both drivers then. So they can last until we where we want to. Duhan with fastest lap. Um, honestly, here we have... We're going to start micromanaging ERS a little bit here. Simply because we are getting kind of left behind. Being stuck behind these cars. Uh, but Piastri is making moves. Duhan is also making moves. And we're going to go ahead and harvest a little bit for both drivers now. Duhan is fighting signs. So maybe a little bit poorly timed on my part. And Piastri is potentially here. Going to overtake uh, Gasly. But it does not look like he'll be able to. So uh, that is okay. Again, we are going to be uh, generating some ERS. And I think we could go back now to the overtake for both of our drivers. And that should be alright. Duan is up in 6 though, so we might just want to have him run harvest or neutral even. Run harvest for both actually. And we very soon are going to have to pit ourselves, but uh, there are some cars around us that haven't pitted. But a lot of them already have, so uh, that's a bit sucky. I'm thinking we will push these tires a little bit more. And it should be okay to do one more lap for Duhan and two more laps for Piastri. So let's get Duhan ready for a new set of mediums. And we'll just get Piastri's pits up to set up. And then we'll de delay it by, uh, by a lap. We should be okay. Duhan came out in 12th position. Which is a pretty far drop, all things considered. Gasly came out in 10th. 
which uh, isn't as bad. Johanna has gotten to know that in front of us. There is no one that it will pit immediately. So uh, we'll just have to work our way through the field here. We are 12 and 15 seconds behind. But we good. are I've setting fastest good. lap. So good. in theory, it should be entirely possible to uh, climb back to the top here. Johan is having a mare. He ran wide. But it looks like he didn't lose too much time. Didn't really seem like it cost him anything. Overly dramatic much. But uh, we're just going to allow things to progress. Piastri is currently on the back of Norris and uh, Albon. So uh, I'm thinking we're giving him overtake. I think we're giving him push here. And Duhan's case is also... We're going to give him overtake as soon as Piastri is uh, passed, I think. Someone spun out. What year is? Yeah. We're actually struggling here quite a bit to overtake. Okay. Piastri has had an accident. And I think that means we'll go on the hard tie for him just towards the end. Major damage to front wing, which uh, is to be expected. We'll go hard. And we will replace the front wing. And I need to remember to make new ones. So uh, that's just how things are. Duhan now up into 7th actually. And we also got a penalty. So uh, we crash? will be pretty Come far behind down, once we are out of the pits. We're looking at Lando Norris. You can clearly see we are very lucky that we didn't get other damage there to be fair. There's been a lockup. We can take a look now. Did Schumacher two crash or the Alfa Romeo involved in this one? Oh, and there's the lockup. Is that arm wing? <laughs> um, but yeah, some weird things is said happening there with the petting time. So Piastri is out in 15th. He did not serve his penalty for some weird reason. Uh, he has gotten everything fixed though, so. With that in mind, we're just going to have to push. Same for Duhan. And we'll have to try and get back here. This could be an incredible race for Aston Martin if they're lucky. So it's definitely getting a bit interesting here. In terms of Duhan here, we're just going to go attack. We're going to give him the overtake. And hopefully he can do a little bit of the uh, old climbing the ranks. So far he has been. He's up into third. So uh, we'll have to see just how good of a position he can put himself in. The Astro is still 15th and uh, it's going to be interesting to see exactly what position he ends up with before the race is over. But he is running hard. It should be fine to run it on aggressive towards the end. We can also push if we feel the need. So uh, any position he gains will be uh, very good. Everyone in front of him will, for the most part, except for Verstappen, probably have to pit. Some of them might try and, you know, pull the tires to the end. But they will be, uh, they will be suffering in that if that's the case. Now Duhan is currently catching up to Leclerc, and we want him to overtake Leclerc ASAP and uh, ride up into sunset with what little tire life he has left, because he is going to have to pit at least once more. And Piastri jumped them in the pit lane. Looks like he just barely made it work. Uh, a lot of people did get the pit stop off though, so he'll be stuck a little bit here in a DRS train by the looks of things. But uh, we're going to ask Duan here to do a push lap, and we are going to just pit him onto the soft here. And he should be able to do... You know what, we'll wait. We'll do wait one more lap before we pit him. And Piastri is doing a good job here, up into 7th now. Hello, if you're so behind like that. Copy. Where exactly is Duhan on the track? Um, let's do one more lap on these mediums. And now we'll pit him for softs there towards the end. He has been seventh, but again, he has that five second penalty. So being stuck in a DRS train is actually very un, uh, unhelpful for him, if you want to put it like that. We're also going to run Conserve on Duhan here. He actually managed to come out first. So. Uh, we're just going to run conserve and 
aggressive here. And let these tires just uh, just do their work. Now Piastri is up into sixth. And the last 10 laps here will basically just be managing him. Let's see if we can maybe get something to, to work here. And of course, we're going to have to get a gap if you want to, to make anything work, really. So, still in sixth. Behind both Mercedes's. Got one there, Hamilton. And we get Russell here, too. Very good. And next one is Leclerc. So, uh, to start us, we do need to get a little bit more ERS. Johan is doing good out front. And let's just go neutral. Or well, we could actually go harvest while hunting down Leclerc. We can also go attack here. The last five laps of the race, which should be okay. And once we catch up to Leclerc, we'll switch the mode to actually neutral here because they did overtake. So the goal right now is just a very simple gain five seconds on Leclerc. Because I don't think we can overtake Max and or Verstappen. We just had a car run wide. And gain uh, and gain the time here. So currently Piastri is doing well. He'll be doing, again, a third here, most likely. We could always try and do something heroic here. We're going to gamble on the push. We're going to go deploy. I'm going to see if Piastri can somehow heroically here push five seconds on Verstappen during this last uh, lap. But uh, he overtook him, but didn't gain the time needed. So uh, he should be third here. It's a shame that he didn't serve his time during the uh, pit stop and actually kind of uh, surprising. So yeah, Duhan gained 70 positions, Piastri 14, fastest lap, 16 points, 25 points for Duhan. Uh, as you can see here, Leclerc actually gets that extra point for pole position, uh, even though because we get punished by penalty, so that's actually an interesting one. But yeah, good race. Albon managed to hold on there for Aston Martin. The horses are stuck in no man's land. Paris had a bad one due to the spin, I believe, or lockup. Either or. Constructors could be settled, but again, if Duhan can just keep on doing seconds, he'll be perfectly fine. And constructors here. Aston Martin gained points, but they're still far off uh, either position, really. So they're basically just to secure themselves against the. Uh, they also even have a fastest lap, apparently. Uh, apparently, the one fastest lap that we missed got nabbed by Haas. Sorry, Aston Martin, that's funny. But yeah, thank you for watching the race. I hope you've enjoyed, and I do hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.